Interfax News Agency has stated that Russia test-fired around 10 new Zircon hypersonic cruise missiles, which is also known as Zircon, from a frigate and two more from a submarine. Russian President Vladimir Putin has lauded the weapon as part of a new generation of unrivaled arm systems. Putin has called the missile test, conducted last week, a big event in the country's life, adding that this was a substantial step in increasing Russia's defense capabilities. Viewers may note that in November, Putin said tests were nearing completion and delivery to the Navy would start in 2022. Putin said in televised remarks, Now it is especially important to develop and implement the technologies necessary to create new hypersonic weapon systems, high-powered lasers, and robotic systems that will be able to effectively counter potential military threats which means they will further strengthen the security of our country. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russia has an unrivaled weapon in Zircon. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. In 2018, Putin announced that Russia was developing a series of new weapons. Zircon was one of them. The missile represents a further development of the Gila hypersonic experimental flying vehicle developed by NPO Machina Storenya that was on display at the 1995 MAX Air Show. As per President Putin's address in the Russian Federal Assembly, the Zircon is capable of reaching speeds of Mach 9. President Putin mentioned that the missile is able to destroy both seagoing and land targets. As per reports, the Zircon will have both a radar target seeker and an optical electronic complex to detect and track targets. The missile could be equipped with a high-explosive warhead or even a tactical nuclear warhead. Mr. Putin had told the Zircon is mainly intended to be deployed in seagoing platforms such as serially made surface warships and submarines, including those that are already operational and being built. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed the speeds of Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second, or 3,836 miles per hour, or 6,174 kilometers per hour. While there are several ways to achieve hypersonic speed, Zircon is thought to use a scramjet engine. The scramjet is an innovation on the ramjet. Ramjet engines can power flight to supersonic speeds, but scramjet can enable the missiles to reach hypersonic speeds. These engines have no moving parts, like the compressors and turbines used in turbofan engines found on conventional jet planes. They rely on the huge pressures created by fast airflow into the engine to ignite the fuel and generate thrust. In this method, a rocket booster is used to accelerate the missile to hypersonic speed. Then the scramjet engine kicks in and enables the missile to fly at a sustained hypersonic speed. It must be noted that traditional ballistic missiles like American Minuteman III, Russian Sarmat, or Indian Agni missiles all travel at hypersonic speeds, but they follow a predictable ballistic trajectory and can't maneuver mid-course. This is where a hypersonic missile is different since they have very high speed but can also maneuver in flight.
There are four aspects that make Zircon a lethal weapon. 1. The speed makes it almost unstoppable. It's noted that even the excellent Aegis system equipping the American Arleigh Burke class destroyers will be too slow to react in time. 2. Since Zircon is heavy and fast, it will have lots of kinetic energy, which will come into play along with the explosive warhead, and a single hit from it could be enough to cripple even a supercarrier. 3. Another important aspect of the missile is its plasma cloud. As per multiple reports, the air pressure in front of the weapon forms a plasma cloud as it moves and the middle is completely covered by plasma cloud during the flight. The plasma cloud would absorb radio frequencies emitted from radars and since the waves are not reflected back, it will essentially mean that the missile will be partially invisible. It's highly likely that the missile will be detected very late and this will make intercepting Zircon almost impossible with the current crop of air defense systems. Or, the missile can actually fly at low altitude and hence it's very hard to defend against as the radar will catch it much later when compared to traditional missiles. Zircon's characteristics would give air defenses very little time to detect and fire interceptors. Current air defense systems can defend against subsonic missiles reliably and are effective against supersonic missiles to an extent, but against hypersonic missiles, they'll fail. It's to be noted that America's Government Accountability Office GAO, report has stated that the U.S. currently lacks the defenses required to protect against the latest crop of hypersonic weapons being developed by China and Russia. The report states, China and Russia are pursuing hypersonic weapons because their speed, altitude and maneuverability may defeat most missile defense systems and they may be used to improve long-range, conventional and nuclear strike capabilities. There are no existing countermeasures. In its response to the GAO, the Department of Defense described the report as an accurate, although sobering, macro picture of how the U.S. stands in the world against emerging threats. It's evident that it will take considerable time before the U.S. can field a counter. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.